We are the Breakfast Club. It's Friday, so you know what that means. It's Freaky, 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 freaky Friday. And the Freaky, Freaky, Freaky Friday question is, have you ever sent a nude or a sex tape to uh, the wrong person? Now, Charlamagne, you sent me a nude one time. I ain't never did no stupid stuff like that ever in my life. Now you know what? you got a son. What? You got a son. Okay? So you mean? got a whole family. So that all right? And I got a whole family, too. I've never even taken nude before. All right. Well, let's go to the phone lines. Hello, who's this? Good morning. This is Jasmine. Now, Jasmine, what did you do, Jasmine? It's, okay, so it's awful, but about, this was like maybe 12 years ago before technology was really getting, uh, I was savvy with technology. I, I had a hot girl summer, and I was sending some videos and photos to like four different guys, but I accidentally put them in like a group chat. So you sent all the guys that you was messing with the same photo? In the same group yes, chat? Yes, the same photo. Not knowing that their names and contact numbers were all showing up. Oh, my goodness. In like a, in like a group chat. So what What did they say in that chat? Only one of them, because there was one of them that I was like almost kind of serious with. And he was the one that called me out and showed me my mistake. And that was that was the end of that. Do you talk, do you talk to any of them anymore? Probably. Oh, you still speak to them? Probably. What? I- I'm sure I do. You know, they don't. They don't usually, you know, go away. Is that many guys? You don't know if you talk. You're to asking them the wrong questions. What were the no, response? This, this was like this is probably about 12 years ago. So I just it, and it was a hot girl summer that year. But what? you know, I'm sure I'm sure I'm still on good terms with all of them. What were the responses? The only one of them responded with that called me out. Mm-hmm. What did she? What did he say? He basically like told me because he knew some of the people in the group chat. Wow! So Man. you was just out here, just out here running through a whole crew. Hot girl summer. Hello, who's this? Good morning, this Bird. Good morning, y'all, man. I love y'all, man. Bird, what's up, man? Who, who you? Who did you send a picture to, brother? Or a video? Man, I meant this. I, I meant this to my girl, but I ended up sending it to my grandma. So I got one of the old school grandma. So once you see the picture, I, I had to act like I had a boat or something on there. So you sent your penis to your grandmother? Man, I didn't try to. I, I, you know, these iPhones, you click over too fast and they end up sending. What she say? It's too little. That's your, that's your daddy side of the family. Nah, <laughs> nah. <laughs> what she say? She do that. I don't see what's back. She ain't even send you no Bible scripture or nothing. She ain't even tell you get your life together. Nah, she didn't say that. It's just what I seen her. She like pulled me to the side. She's like, ah, uh, that. Yeah, you need to go to the doctor. Son. You need to go to the doctor. I saw some bumps all around it. My goodness. Hello, who's this? Ah, uh, Shalonda calling from Jersey. First hey, of all, Shalanda. serious question. Why would your grandma tell you to go to the doctor after seeing your penis? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like, what's, what, what was wrong with your penis so he, much? He said he had a problem with his penis, and he showed his, his grandmother so so he could get some help. Mm. Hello, hey, Shalonda. Now, now, what did you do, Shalonda? Um, okay, so you know how you could record stuff on an SD card and you would like have it in your camera back in the day? Yep. So I had recorded a video, I was a freshman in college, and then my father had used my camera and I forgot all about the SD card being in there. And God rest his soul because he passed away, but he found it. So I can laugh about it now, but in that moment, it was not funny. What did he say? How did he call you? Um, he was like, what the fuck is this? And I was like, ah, and I just couldn't even think of anything off the top of my head. It was just real bad. And my dad's like, yeah, it was just crazy. What was you doing (laughs) on the tape, though? What was you doing on the tape? Very inappropriate stuff that my father did not need to see. With another another human being? Yes, with my boyfriend. Oh, my goodness. I mean, how you supposed to... Now my fiancé, so it's not too bad, so... How you supposed to respond? Oh, that's your fiancé now. Now, yeah, but back yeah. then she was a yeah. freshman in high school. Oh, you know, okay. That's cool. College, yeah, college. That's cool. So. That's not cool. Now nah, that is cool. No, it's not. I would much rather no, my, my I would if 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 my daughter did get put out there like that, I would much rather her it be with somebody that she's going to end up with for the rest of her life. Yeah, you bring light to the moment. Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> All right, thank you, mama. Caroline, good morning. Good morning, good morning. How are you guys? Now what happened with you, Caroline? All right. So as a graduation present, my dad bought me a Mac computer when I graduated from college. And one of my partners who I was working with at the time was trying to holler at me for a long time. And he was like, yo, just come get this Cali B. And I was like, you know what? He sent me a picture. I was like, on it, let's go. So I invited him to my house one time and me just being adventurous, 
I actually had turned my computer on and recorded it. Put the video away, didn't think nothing of it. Uh, two weeks later, I get a text message from my mom. Oh, so you think you're an effing porn star now? And I was like, wait, what's she talking about? I saw the video. I was like, woo! And then she was like, well, who your father also saw it. I'm like, ooh. So I, lo I walked home that night a little bit slower than I normally did. And by the time I got there, she was like, hmm, that's what you be doing with this computer? It's supposed to be graduation present. How dare you? Da, 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 da. But eventually she got over it. But it did make it into the chapter of my memoir about my being an exhibitionist because it was confirmed in that moment. I can I ask you a question? I do really want to know this. Why do people feel the need to record these acts? Well, I would say I was smaller and I looked good. Like, I looked fabulous think back to now like I wish I knew how good I look compared to what I look like now and I was like my body <laughs> angles be right kind here to yourself be kind to yourself be kind to yourself <laughs> be kind to yourself you're not being kind to Damn. yourself she's being honest no she's not yes. she's being mean to herself that's not uh, you, that's not honest oh, I, I still love myself but it was just a little bit more you know a little bit more. how much you weigh now oh I'm 220 how tall are you five four what you say now? Hold on. What you say now, Charlamagne? I'm not saying anything. I think that you know. Yeah, I know what he's saying. That's I'm not saying about. nothing. I'm. I, I'm not saying nothing. I'm. There's somebody out there that will love you. Okay. <laughs> I know. All right. Well, you have, you have it, a good one. It don't matter that you build like Trader Troops bump box. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, I hate you, man. I didn't want to say that. I know. Yes, you did. Forgive yes, me, you did. God. Did I didn't. Like I did not want to say that. I did not want to expect five, four, two. I didn't want to say that. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. It's Friday, so you know what that means. It's Freaky, 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 Freaky Friday. And the Freaky, Freaky, Freaky Friday question is, have you ever sent a nude or of sex tape to the wrong person? That is the question. It came from Lotto's interview because we were joking her that she created a sex tape and hopefully her father wouldn't see it. So we're asking. Hello, who's this? Hello? Hello. Hello. Hey, what's your name, Hello. bro? My name Chris. Chris, what's up, man? What, what did you do, Chris? Sarasota, Florida, not Okeechobee, Florida. Okay. What we did you do? That uh, incident happened at the Popeye. What is called? What is called, brother? I'm calling from Sarasota, Florida, not Okeechobee. It's called oh, got Okeechobee. you, got you. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's real racist out there, bro. Real racist out there. That's common. Yeah, yeah. but um, I was calling about the sex tape thing. I thought that's what we were talking about. Go ahead. Yeah. What's up? What happened? Hey, yeah, 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 man. Um, this happened in my, this happened in like 98, man. I'm, you know, I'm 51, so, you know, yeah, like like Charlamagne said, man, this was on a VCR tape. A real tape. Um, yeah. So, check this out. My nephew came over to spend the night, and um, I was at work when I got home, and I had no idea that uh, he had gone in and grabbed one of the movies, man. It was one of the movies that my girl and I had made, man. And, uh, you know, he enjoyed himself with that thing for, shit, probably, excuse me, for a good month or so, because he ended up staying with us more than just the night. So when his mom came to visit, that's how we found out he even had the movie, man, and was watching and enjoying himself. Just like, you know, younger kids, you know, when they first started seeing that kind of thing, you know, they get infatuated and, you know, it becomes their form of masturbation, and that's what he did, man. Hey. It was kind of crazy. Yeah, that's what happened with my first... Uh, Sex tape that I made, so it kind of got out. Not, not the, I didn't like give it to him, you know, intentionally. It was like the question you guys were asking was, <laughs> All right. by mistake. Where the tape at now, uh, sir? Huh? Where the tape at now? Oh, that tape long gone, bro. I have no idea where that tape at. We talking about 98, bro. This 2022. Got okay. you, got you. I'm just Thank making you, sure it didn't go digital. Hello, who's this? This is Ebony. Ebony, good morning. Talk to me, Ebony. Good morning. I'm calling about that big lotto topic. Go ahead. What happened with you? So I'm military and I was deployed overseas at the time. And I was spicing up my relationship and I decided I wanted to send my husband at the time some news. I sent him. He was cheating on me. The girl that he cheated with decided she wanted to send the news to everybody in his phone, including my family. <laughs> so everybody in my whole family's got my news. What Damn a, it, man. What a bold-ass side chick. How dare she? The audacity. 
Yeah, it was it was nasty. I had, I came back from my deployment. My dad, he didn't want to look in my eyes. Like, it was embarrassing. I want to know how does she justify that with herself, though. She's already the side. Did she think that he was going to break up with you to be with her after she did that? Well, they, I, bro well, they broke up. I think she did. I think she did. But, I mean, he tried to reconcile when I got home, but I divorced him. Oh, you divorced him because of that? Yeah, I was done. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that's a violation. I wanna ask you this question. Now, if he had just cheated on you and you would've found out, would you have divorced him? Or is it the fact that she sent your sex tape out to everybody? It was it was more so as a sex tape. It was embarrassment. Like, I just couldn't come back after that. Like, cheating is one thing, I think, in a relationship. But when you go that far and you blandly let a woman that you're dealing with disrespect me, I can't come back. I okay. agree. Thank Lord you, have mama. mercy. That's a different yeah, level of foul right there. What's the moral of the story? The moral of the story is you can't trust these goddamn side chicks. That's why you got to be with one woman, man. <laughs> Lord have mercy, man. Get Find you one woman and just build and have a nice, stable life. Lord have mercy. That's right. just evil. All right.